Okay, I have got pork belly here, or two pounds of pork belly, and I'm going to add spices to it, and then we'll smoke it and create some our own hickory smoked bacon. Okay, for the for the spices, I have the tender or Morton tender quick, and I'm supposed to use two teaspoons per or a teaspoon per pound, so I'm using two teaspoons. We got a um, a quarter cup of kosher kosher salt, quarter cup of brown sugar, and then two table, tablespoons of uh, red pepper flakes, which I uh, ground it up, and I guess one teaspoon of um, whole peppercorns, which I also ground up, which I'm going to mix all together, and then we're going to coat the, uh, the pork belly and then we'll let it sit in the fridge for every day and then every other day we'll give it a flip. Okay, so now I've got all the spices mixed together and this is skin off pork bellies and the way this was actually done in the uh, in the store, it's not the thickest pork bellies which I'm kind of disappointed by So, but anyway, we're going to do one to both sides liberally. And I'll put some more on the other side again. I want to make sure they're covered. Okay, you can smell those red pepper flakes. I'm going to have to wash my hands, make sure I don't touch my eyeballs. Sort of like a dry rub. Make sure that it's applied evenly. That salt and everything else. This is what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to actually take this one gallon Ziploc bag. And that is what I'm going to put the, the pork belly into. Put back out, try to make it as flat as possible in the container. If y'all can still see it. And then take some of the dry garb that's falling off. Try to rub the cure that's falling off. And get in there as well. So we use up all the way what we prepared. Okay, now this will bother everybody in my household for a while. Make sure that's really sealed. I'm to make sure to get as much air as possible out of the, the bag. And that's gonna be a trick. And we'll go ahead and put them in the bag. And then, like I said, every other day, so like I'm, since I'm, since I'm doing this on Sunday, I'll flip this on Tuesday and then again on Thursday. And then on Saturday, we'll see about smoking the bacon. Flip. 
now what I'm going to do, take it out, she's gotten really firm, and I'm going to take it out, rinse it off, dry it off, and put it back in the refrigerator for a good 24 hours. Alright, I've rinsed it off, dried it off, it's very firm. Now from what I understand, this is bacon now, we could actually cook it up and have it cook as regular bacon, but we're going to smoke it too, so we're going to put it back in the fridge for 24 hours. I should get something to put it in. Anyway, be back in a second. Okay, that fit well into the dish, so I want to put that uncovered dry in the refrigerator for 24 hours to actually form the pellicle so the smoke actually, you know, really gets in there. Okay, welcome to Saturday morning. We're going to start smoking this. I'm going to be using hickory. Um, we're going to be using my electric smoker, which I just got. Hi, Lefty. So it is preheating right now for up to 200 degrees. It's 67 degrees right now. I pulled out the smoker or the tray which I put the smoker chips in and the water water pan so I don't burn my fingers when I fill them up. But we'll let that preheat a little and then we'll put the bacon in and we'll cook it with smoke for about an hour at 200 degrees and then for another two hours just at 200 degrees without the smoke so okay I put the bacon on the the middle rack and I've got uh, chips in there and I have chips in there so I'm going to close it up and that'll be the last time I see the bacon for the for three hours. Oh, I got to fill the water pan. Sorry. Pretty interesting, huh? Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it has started to smoke. It hadn't reached temperature yet. It's 110 degrees right now. It's been about nine minutes. So, I was supposed to add wood chips, I guess, every 30 minutes. So, we'll come back here about 30 minutes and add more. This will be interesting. I guess I can tell that's a, a a deer hoof print, but you know, that's my my back door. I mean, I've had some visitors. Of course, Lefty is going nuts because he smells something and digging a hole. So. That's right. Oh, are you gonna stop now? Alright. More later. Okay, I guess it's <clears throat> I guess it's been more than thirty minutes. It says it's reached two hundred and thirty degrees, but it's two hours and twenty minutes left, so and it's still showing some smoke. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can I see that against the thing? Sorry for the mess in the background, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and add some more wood chips. And that'll be the last time they add and just let it go. Just an aside, this is kind of neat. This is how I can add smoke. I don't have to open up the uh, the smoker. I just have this little entry down here to where I can actually put it. And then turn it. And then adds it to the pan that I uh, that I put in earlier. So that's neat. Okay, it still smells really smoky. It's but got about ten minutes left to complete the three hours. Then we're gonna take out the bacon or the pork belly, and uh, I'll put it in the, a, a clean, fresh tray, and I'll put it in the refrigerator for you know let it firm up. I'll let it rest probably for a good 15 minutes and then you know we'll slice it after everything is all done probably later on tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm curious there's probably less than a minute left 
on there. I just wanted to see what it did when it reached zero. Notice it, it got a whole lot hotter. Actually, it reached zero. So it says heat will turn off when it reached zero. So now we're going to unlock and open this up. It looks really, really done. So we're going to have to open or get that out. I was actually surprised by the master bolt. This is what's left for the wood chips that I put in there. You can actually still see some wood chips still viable, so to speak. But I'm going to empty this out and I'm going to smoke something else. Okay, we've let it uh, sit here for about 10 minutes. We actually took some other meat out to put in the smoker. <laughs> and we're going to cover it up with a saran wrap and put it back in the fridge. Let it firm up and then we'll cut it. Other people are real interested in this. They're looking up things I haven't dropped yet, so. Anyway, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to try out my other brand new device, which is the slicer. So we'll actually see how that goes. So I sliced it up. It's not as thick as I, I wanted it to be. It was a pretty thin pork belly to begin with. The dogs are excited, aren't you guys? I put the tail end in here, tail end of the pork belly. And uh, I one of the slices in here just to cook it up to see how it tastes. And I'm going to package it up and save it for later. <laughs> 